Hey, three commas traders. My name's Jared and welcome back to another video. I'm a three commas representative and today I'll be going over how to link an exchange to three commas using the fast connection method and the manual connection method if the fast connection method isn't available for your exchange. We've made some significant updates to the exchange connection process for many of our partnered exchanges. And we thought it might be a great idea to show our users how to do this safely and reliably. Without further delay, let's get right into this. Now that we're on three commas, we're going to go ahead and go to the My Portfolio tab. This is where we would connect an exchange. And if you don't already have an exchange account, you can scroll down to the Supported Exchanges section and you can find all the exchanges we do support. If you do want to sign up for one of these exchanges, you would go to the very right side and click on the connect button. This will take you to the exchanges website to sign up. We already have accounts made, so we're going to go ahead and go up here and click connect account. We're going to choose exchanges. And the first exchange I'm going to show is how to connect OKX with fast connect. We're going to see Fast Connect selected. We're going to click on Connect OKX. It's going to take a second to load. And it's going to want us to sign in. So we're going to put in our login information for OKX and click Login. Lastly, you're going to click Approve right here. So if you get this error right here, this means you already have an API key on the exchange and you need to go to their website and delete it. So going to the OKX API section, I can see that I already have an API here. I would just go ahead and delete this and proceed with the connection. So now that we did that, we can click connect OKX. We can click approve. And there we are. It is now connected. So the next exchange we're going to be connecting is Binance.us. This is going to be using the manual connection with the whitelisting options. So we're going to go ahead and click connect a new account, exchanges, Binance.us for this example. This looks a bit different, but we're going to get into it. First, we're going to need to go to the Binance.us section or whichever other exchange you're using and make an API key. So now that we're at the API management section, we're going to go ahead and click create after giving it a name. It's going to want us to enter the Google authentication code. Lastly, it's going to want you to go to your email and confirm that, so we'll go ahead and do that. Once you do that, it'll take you back here where you can get the API key and the API secrets. But first, you're going to want to make sure you have spot trading enabled. So we're going to click edit restrictions and enable spot trading. Next, we're going to want to do restrict access to trusted IPs only. So once you do this, you're going to want to go back to three commas and you're going to want to copy this IP right here. On Binance.us, it's only one IP address to keep it simple. On other exchanges, it may be more than one. Once you paste it here, you click Confirm. Next, you're going to copy the API key and the secret key over to three commas. Once you do that, you click on Connect. And there we are. The exchange is successfully connected, and you can see it right here. So the last exchange I'm going to be going over how to connect is going to be Bybit. We're going to go back up to connect a new account, exchanges, and Bybit. Once here, you're going to have the fast connect option selected unless you want to use the manual connection and click connect Bybit. It would be about the same as OKX. You would just click I authorize the creation of the open API, click confirm. You're going to want to select all the permissions you'd like this API to have. You're going to want to keep the basic ones that are shown and then you're going to click confirm. And there we are. We have Bybit connected as well. It will not show funds on this account because there are not funds on this account. And that's going to be how you can connect your exchange accounts to three commas. If you have any issues with this process, our support team is available 24 seven. Make sure before trying to connect a new API account, for example, right here, that you click this refresh button. As you can see, this solves the issue and I don't have to reconnect the API key. Clicking these three dots right here allows you to update the API key, delete it, and enable or disable hedge mode. 
You can also click this trade icon if you have enough funds on the exchange to be teleported to the smart trade section where you can make trades.